The Rovers Chat YouTube channel is proudly sponsored by SixYardsOut.com. They've got retro football from every era with mugs, phone cases and much more. They also have plenty of Rovers goods including apparel with the famous 94-95 season and this season's kit. Check them out using the link in the description below. Hello Rovers fans and welcome back to another edition of Transfer Talk here on Rovers Chat. We are nearly at deadline day, three minutes before as I'm recording this on Rovers Chat. I'm Ollie walker Peel, and today we're going to be running in through all the ins and outs uh, regarding Blackburn Rovers in the transfer window. Um, as we say, under 24 hours to go now uh, as I'm recording this, but still so, so much to get through. Uh, before we do get uh, started though, I would like to give a quick word to Blue Rose Capital six yards out and our charity sporting memories uk and we thank them for their continuous support as always um what we're going to do though is we're going to start with potential incomings and we're going to start with one that is confirmed that we know about and that is ryan hedges from aberdeen that has obviously been confirmed and there will be more youtube content around that there is already the instant reaction to that which was recorded uh, with jared over in the us and we've got our lowdown which should be out by lunchtime today uk time so um Make sure to keep an eye out for that. Of course, it uh, looks like a good deal. Three and a half year deal for Rovers, as has been reported. I believe there's an extension in there as well, which is brilliant. Um, but that one is done and dusted. Obviously, we've talked about that one all window. So to have that one over the line is brilliant. Um, of course, you know, a player that we might need now, obviously, with all the attackers that are out, all the wingers that are out. Uh, Ryan Hedges does fit that mould. Um, obviously, coming from, from Aberdeen, uh, formerly of Swansea, um, and came through the ranks at Everton. So, he's got a decent CV. Um, so, glad to see that one done. Obviously, there's all the Hedges jokes now. And it was interesting to see, um, obviously, the, the PL2 badge on the side of the kit that Ryan Hedges was modelling. Obviously, the under-23 one. But a few Rovers fans, including myself, poked a bit of fun at the fact that that could be our badge on our kit next season if things go well. Um, but uh, that's definitely an interesting one. Uh, but that one is done, so keep an eye out for all that YouTube content later today. Uh, Ryan Giles is a potential another incoming that could be on his way to the club. Spent the first half of the season at Cardiff and did really, really well for himself. Uh, really impressed me in the game at Ewood Park. Obviously, Rovers absolutely obliterated that game. But Ryan Giles was a positive player. Um, obviously, left wing back. Um, Taylor Eddins has been playing that position while Harry Pickering has been out and with Pickering returning at some point soon, pardon me. Um, it's going to be interesting to see what happens. Um, he's a player that we've obviously got to keep in the team, Pickering, once he comes back. But 22, Ryan Giles, at the moment. 21 league appearances at Cardiff. And I believe he got the assist for um, for the goal that uh, Cardiff scored at Ewood. All, um, it seems like ages ago now. Has spent loans at Coventry, Telford United, Shrewsbury and Rotherham. So... A lot of loan spells, uh, yet to make a league appearance. Four Wolves has made one cup appearance for them um, quite a while ago now in the 18-19 season. In the FA Cup, that was. Um, so, yet to really break through at Wolves. Um, but, like I said, did really well in his spell at Cardiff. Uh, so, we'll have to see if that one happens or not. But not a bad rumour to be having, I don't think. There's another incoming. I'm sure there's absolutely lots of incomings that we could be talking about. But that one, I think, is one that um, pleases me most and I'm most optimistic about. If that happens, I think he would be a valuable asset to the team for the uh, for the rest of the season. And who knows from then, if he does well, signs on loan, does well, maybe we're signing him in the Premier League next season if we get up there. But I suppose there's a lot to uh, to talk about before that happens. Uh, we've mentioned Aberdeen once. We're going to move on to the outgoings. We're going to mention Aberdeen again. Jacob Davenport is a player that has been linked with the Scottish outfit, obviously at Pittadry. Um, obviously, the Hedges is a good signing. And Davenport, it's one that really hasn't worked out for us. And I think this might be a sensible move um, for him. That has been um, rumoured by the Lancashire Telegraph. Obviously, a very, very reliable source. So, um, Davenport, I think when he's played for Rovers... He's played all right at times. I remember the Birmingham game last season that was obviously, um, people remember for, for the Dak goal away at St Andrews. Um, I thought he was brilliant on that day. Um, and it's just showed a glimpse of, of what he can offer. But he just hasn't had the chance to uh, to do that too often. Um, and has played only 17 minutes of football since the 1-1 uh, the draw away at Ashton Gate uh, in November. So um, he's not played a lot of football. And it's a really sad one because obviously he came in from, uh, from Manchester city. Uh, a lot was talked about him and um, obviously with his contract running out, it's not looking like he's going to stay at the club for too long. And obviously played against Sheffield United started against them earlier in the season. So um, 
and did well there, I thought. But um, it's not looking likely that he's going to be sticking around much longer. If he does survive past January, uh, I don't think he'll be going much longer than that. I think it will be the end of the season that he then goes. Uh, so it's kind of sad to see that one. Um, but I suppose it happens. Players have got a shelf life at a football club. And it looks like Davenport's at Ewood Park is running out, which is kind of sad because he's a player that I did want to see succeed. Um, and he quite hasn't had the rub of the green. So it's a sad one, um, but we do wish Jacob Davenport all the best if he does move on. He's a likeable player, a likeable lad. Um, un- unfortunately, it hasn't worked out for me, he would, um, but he would go with our best wishes if he is to leave. Uh, we'll move on now to Jack Vale. Um, obviously had loan spell at Rochdale last season. That didn't quite work out. Um, did okay at Halifax earlier in the year, uh, but now Salford want him in League Two. Um, obviously played well um, towards the first pandemic season, towards the end of that. Uh, came in on against Reading and impressed. Um, so quite highly touted. Um, obviously scored a hat-trick as well for, uh, for Wales youth side earlier on as well in his career. So a player with a lot of promise, but again, probably not had the career that he would have liked after uh, initially making his first team debut. Um, still a lot of promise, though, and still a lot of time for Vale to um, to make a name for himself at Blackburn. You think about it, a, a young talent, still highly rated um, in the Welsh setup, uh, only 20 as well, so um, there's still a lot of time for, uh, for him to make his name. Um, currently bouncing around in the under-23s, um, and as we said, had that loan at Halifax, scored one in 10 league games for them, and has been capped six times for the Wales under-21 side, which was the team that he did score his hat-trick for. Um, but Vale, this would be a good move for him. He needs to play first-team football. He needs to play senior uh, senior football, and Salford might give him the avenue to do that. Obviously, we've seen with the likes of Sam Burns, who's gone out on loan, and he's already done well for, uh, for Scunthorpe, so that is an interesting one. Um, they're currently 10th in the um, in League Two. So um, potentially maybe making a push for the playoffs. I mean, they're on 37 points at the moment. Uh, Swindon in 7th on uh, 42. So uh, whether they then make the playoffs is going to be interesting. But Vale could help um, ascend them up the table. So I suppose we'll have to wait and see on that one. Um, but there's a lot, you know. Could be, um, could be a move for him, and it looks like a decent club for him to go to in terms of playing time. So we shall have to see. And the one that, you know, it's been all around uh, Rovers fans. Um, it's been all around the debate. We've had a video on it um, with Alex and Dan and also Andy Watson, Joe Rothwell. It's really interesting one, this. Um, now that we are at deadline day, as I'm recording this now, We've got less than 24 hours and it's going to be tough to see what deal gets done. Rothwell, four and a half million US dollars has been rejected. Chicago Fire apparently put a bid in the MLS club. Uh, but Joe Rothwell's preference is apparently Bournemouth, um, which obviously Rovers don't want to sell to a direct promotion rival. Um, it's interesting, Rothwell, because he's a player that has done so much for us this season and has been... You know, a, a good servant to the club over the, the four years that he's been to up to now. It would just leave a sour taste in my mouth if he leaves like this. Um, obviously, Bournemouth, direct promotion rival, as we say. It looks like it could be between the, the pair of us as to which club gets automatic. So it doesn't make sense from a Rovers point of view to sell to Bournemouth. I don't think anyway. If, if a club like Norwich was to come in or Brighton or, or someone like that, I'd, I don't know. Throwing, throwing names out there at this point or Watford or, or someone like that just hypothetically, then I'd sell him um, the £3 million pounds would be a decent deal, but to Bournemouth, I'm just really not a fan of the deal, um, obviously he's got, he's got a life outside of football he's got a family that he wants to help uh, and that's fair enough, but just as a football fan and as a Rovers fan, it would hurt if he was to leave to Bournemouth. Obviously, you look back at the Cardiff game a couple of weeks ago and it was his goal that separated the two sides. And there's been moments like that this season where Rothwell's plucked a goal out of nothing or created a goal out of nothing that we wouldn't have otherwise had. And he's he really helped us this season. He's been one of our better players. But if he's to leave like this, then it would be a really, really tough one to take. Um, obviously, we've not got much time for a replacement. We've had a look at uh, Sariki Dembele, um, I believe. Um, but Bournemouth have been linked with absolutely everyone at the moment. That just about wraps up this really, really quick one. This transfer talk now officially on deadline day. The first video that we will be posting on deadline day. Um, obviously, a lot to cover um, for the rest of the day. And obviously subsequently for the rest of the window. So make sure you do stick around for that. Subscribe to the YouTube channel and put the notification bell on so you don't miss any of the content 
both for transfers and for the rest of this Rovers season. Uh, thanks again to Six, Roads, uh, Six Yards Out and Blue Rose Capital, I do apologise, and also to our uh, chosen charity, Sporting Memories Network, and I will see you in another video. Bye for now. The Rovers Chat YouTube channel is proudly sponsored by SixYardsOut.com. They've got retro football from every era with mugs, phone cases and much more. They also have plenty of Rovers goods including apparel with the famous 94-95 season and this season's kit. Check them out using the link in the description below.